Hey guys, welcome to yet another great episode here at Tech It. You know, when we were young in high school, in campus, there used to be this amazing motivational speakers who'd come to our schools and say, you know what, one of the things was dress the way you want to be addressed. And today, I want to address a phone that is dressed to play. This is arguably the top tier end of Android flagships. I mean, you can't go above the Z Fold. Personally, I've been, I daily drive an, an S22 Ultra. It's an amazing phone. You know, gives me all, you know, gives me great, great battery life, gives me all that I need to have in a phone. But, you know, once you experience this kind of lifestyle, you're like, uh, I'm about to ditch my S22 Ultra and probably have this as my daily driver. And this is the thing. This phone is not made for people who, okay, I want to use play uh, in quotes. This, is, this phone is not made for people who want to play. This is, phone is made for people that really, you know, are willing to go the long nine yards and just enjoy that kind of, uh, of multitasking experience. You know, we are a busy uh, studio here. And on a daily basis, you know, have to run many things in the field, have to run many things when you're out there, you know, you have to do quite a lot of things. And productivity becomes the question that we always have to answer. But this is the most interesting thing that productivity does not always come cheap. It comes at a cost. That's why I began by saying dress the way you want to be addressed. Now, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is a 6 uh, inch you know phone daily that you can use daily even without needing to open there are days when i have used this phone even without necessarily opening it up into the tablet format you know uh when i'm uh making phone calls when i'm quickly replying to messages you know when i'm doing you know your daily phone stuff i i don't i i don't always have to go into the tablet experience but when i want to do more than that which a normal phone cannot do that's when the magic of the Z Fold comes into play. When you open this, this up, it's an amazing seven inch uh, tablet that you can do quite a lot on it. You know, there are many times that I need to multitask. I'm making a spreadsheet on one side. You know, I have to copy details from an email. Um, I also have to open a calculator, for example, to, to do mathematics. And, and that is made easy by this amazing device. Ideally, it's basically this phone on the front duplicated twice. So that which I could do on this phone, I can now do on two screens or even at times three, skin, three, three screens uh, or sometimes three different layouts because of the One UI that's baked into this device. So the Z Fold 4 is a phone made for people that not necessarily are looking for that premium ultra luxury, but are looking for something that gives them productivity. Now, don't forget, or don't pl please don't get me wrong, I, that doesn't mean that at any cost, this does not spell out premium luxury. No, 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 no. It does by a way long standard. But like it, this phone does is that not only does it give you luxury, but it gives you productivity. And you know, that's the question that most people ask. You know, easy fold. Ninini nafanya yenye simu kawaida easy fanya. And the question is, is that it folds? And out of that folding and unfolding comes the life of the party, comes the life of this amazing device. And you know, for some of us who don't just use our phones for productivity. It also works best as a handy tool when it comes to your videos and your photos. I mean, I almost, you know, just said that this phone one ups the Galaxy S22 Ultra when it comes to images because man, does it take good images? You know, as I said, I use the Galaxy S22 Ultra on a daily basis, but when I began using the Galaxy Z Fold 4, I'm like, wait, this phone does actually take good photos. You know, the Galaxy S22 has its one or eight megapixel uh, camera till today. This one still carries the 12 megapixel and it does an amazing job so it has your triple camera array with the led flash it has a, a selfie camera on the front but it also has an, an in display selfie camera in the you know in the seven inch the in display camera uh, selfie camera on 
the once you open it up into tablet mode well still has a long way to go because you can still uh, see through it but when you're using it it you know it, sometimes when you're displaying uh content it 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 just looks like it's not there i know there are many things i can talk about the galaxy z fold you know from amazing battery life by the way uh, most of the times when i'm leaving the house with 100 percent charge and i'm using it both uh as a phone and as a tablet uh i end up uh at the end of the day with much about like 20 percent which means that's very good battery life and and you know i can talk about the cameras and how amazing uh the cameras are but for me really the end of the day is the productivity it comes with a snapdragon 8 gen 1 plus chipset and this this makes this phone ultra fast when it comes to you know productivity when it comes to gaming because you can still game not only on the six inch screen but you can game on the seven inch screen um, but into multitasking you can open so many apps at once and you're able to run them seamlessly to give you that amazing computer-like experience i know for me because sometimes when i'm editing or i'm i'm uh, i'm working through workflows i either end up using two machines one machine uh, with two displays and that is all summed up in this amazing device that is one device but gives you the ability to split screens uh, and get much more done so this z fold might not be the phone for the regular kenyan but i'll tell you this is a phone for that individual that's looking for productivity because when we talk z fold we talk about productivity now that's just you know my hands-on i've, been, I've uh, spent like a, a, a week or two with this device i've loved it so far but i have so much to share about this let's meet in the full review of the z4 4 but for now it's a wrap from us guys peace out <laughs>